as my uh, relationship with God has deepened and as I have um, come into a, a deeper sense of oneness and union, there's less engagement as an active activated thing and more mm -hmm. of a lifestyle that I'm continually in communion. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there may well be some experiences where um, I uh, meet angels or angels come and meet me. Um, but it's not me specifically thinking, oh, I'd like to go and meet some angels. I mean, there may be occasions and there are occasions where I talk to my angels and engage my angels who operate around me in this realm. Mm -hmm. And they are here as ministering spirits. Therefore, there I can uh, give them assignments to do things. Uh, but generally, a lot of what I have learned to do uh, over the years in the realms of heaven I am now doing multidimensionally, non-linearly all the time. So I don't generally go and engage unless I really feel the Father leads me into that. I just mm -hmm. live in communion and fellowship and then outwork his desires within that multidimensional way. Um, and when you realize that you're not limited by time or space or anything like that, then you're free to be in multiple places doing multiple things at the same time effectively um, in the spirit without having necessarily to cognitively be aware all the time of what you do now sometimes i become cognitively aware in times like this where people talk to me and ask me things and i tell them things that didn't come out of my brain or memory mm -hmm but they came out of my spiritual engagements and experience and what I'm living in that state of communion and, and intimacy with. So I share the father's heart or I share what I might have been doing or experiencing in that multidimensional way without ever having had the memory of it until I needed the memory of it. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it's much more now of a state of being than going into heaven and doing engagements and actually trying to engage because I am engaged. You know, I'm constantly face to face, heart to heart with the father in the realm of light, in the realm of perfection, in which my heart and his heart are joined. Therefore, I am expecting to know his heart. It's not the same before I would have gone to talk to him asked him things he would have talked to me and we've had conversations now it's more of a cardiogenosis knowledge of the heart which is an infusion in union which is less sort of well i'm going to go and try and do this or i'm going to go and speak to the father now sometimes when i engage with a group of people uh, and we go and seek the father's heart then that is an engagement and but that again is just choice i just switch my conscious thinking to where I am in the spirit face to face with the father. And then I am in that place where I'm aware consciously of what's happening and what the father is doing or saying or sharing. And then usually in, in those type of meetings, then we come and feed back and we get a consensus of what the father is sharing and showing us. And then we go and outwork that. So that that's a joint in thing, sort of thing where I do that with other people. Whereas in my own daily life, it's just living in that state of conscience, conscious awareness of rest, of love, of joy, of peace, of being in him and him in me. Now, I am aware of, you know, the, the desire for rivers of living water to flow in my innermost being and flow around me. And again, I used to activate that every day. I would activate the, the Merkaba, the energy gates within me. Now I live in that state of activation. So now it's a state of being rather than I used to learn how to do it. And then I would do it. Now I'm constantly in that because it's constantly my desire. It's constantly the, the place I live within in intimacy with, with, with God. And therefore, I don't have to go and do those things now in a conscious way, but mm -hmm. I'm still in that state. So I am energized. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I like just to thank God, show gratitude 
and thanksgiving of that state. And I'm just so aware of how precious that state is. And I thank him and I'm just joyful over where I've come from, from and where I am now. Um, in that I enjoy life so much more because I'm enjoying life in that state of awareness. So like it's like my life used to be looking at a monochrome existence and now everything is multicolored and multifaceted and multi-leveled and i'm aware of so much more within creation and the joy of it than i ever was but i'm free to enjoy creation because i'm not having to consciously do all those things that i'm doing in the spirit because i'm doing them in the spirit I'm consciously engaged in multiple places, doing multiple things in the realms of heaven all the time. And if the father wants me to become aware of anything, then I do. That knowledge becomes available to me. 